Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain why. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any vehicle having a GMC Yukon or Yukon XL that generation here from year 2007 to year 2014. If you guys have a problem where actually the heater blows hot air on the driver's side but cold on the passenger side, in this video today we'll explain what can easily cause that. It's a device that's not expensive, it costs only a few dollars guys and we've seen them fail as early as 8,000 miles. Uh, we'll talk about that. What else you need to check where you can guys buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste money and time and why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix transmissions, engines, bodywork, interior, electrical, engine codes, almost absolutely everything. Why we do that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. We have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. And on this channel alone today guys, we're going to be making a video about every single fuse relay in that GMC Yukon or Yukon XL. Why? Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere guys, you need to find where the fuel pump fuse relay is located, where fuel injector fuse is located. Uh, all you have to do, watch the video, one, two minutes, you replace that fuse, you're back on the road. So we make it for your convenience guys, please subscribe to the channel, like the video and if you need to buy parts and tools we'll put the links in the description of the video below where uh, you can get them at a good price that way do not waste money and time. So let's start on it now. So guys if the heater blows hot on the driver's side but cold on the passenger side what can easily cause that on this generation GMC Yukon. If you guys <coughs> excuse me open okay the door you see that's the driver vent right it blows nice hot air cold on the passenger side. First we need to check some fuses you have a fuse box under that cover right here that's interior fuse box the other main fuse box is, is under the hood under that cover here that's the main engine fuse box before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen guys at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. Here is what we need to check. You actually need to check some fuses for the climate control. For any of you looking where the climate control fuses are located, the video will be on our YouTube channel Electrical Car Repair Life. GMC Yukon climate control fuse location but seven out of ten times it's actually something else always check the fuses first it could be simple fix but guys most of the times it's that device here but by the way if you need to buy any fuses relays parts tools at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time we'll put a link in the description of the video below guys for your convenience this device is known as a blind door actuator what it does guys if you have a single climate control we have one of those on the front. If you have dual climate control you have two, one on the driver, one on the passenger side. That thing attaches to a flap that opens, it closes and it regulates the temperature whether it blows hot or cold. Inside you have plastic gears and a motor, usually those gears will crack, chip, the teeth will wear out, it will start skipping or the motor will, uh, will burn and as a result okay the heater may be stuck in cold position and that's why it blows cold on the passenger side because of a bad blend door actuator. We've seen some that fail as early as 8,000 miles. They're not very expensive guys. Usually if you want to see how to test blend door actuator and what are the symptoms of bad blend door actuator we have the videos on our channel. Check them out. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time. 